I'm Carmen Lacabe from the University of Castilla-La Mancha, and I'm going to present the work entitled A Pilot Experience to Raise Awareness Among Computer Science Undergraduates About the Gender Biases of Algorithms, which has been elaborated with my colleague Ana Isabel Molina. Both of us belong to the Chico Research Group. Many of the decisions we make are now entrusted to the algorithms underlying the technological tools we use, but many of them are biased by gender, age, etc. Given that gender bias impacts the largest number of people, it is the biggest contributor to social inequalities. Then, it is essential that future algorithm developers be aware of such bias to avoid it. With this aim, ethics are included in the computer science curriculum, but often as a separate subject from algorithm, which can lead the students to fail to appreciate the interrelationships between the two fields. Since there is evidence that incorporating ethical thinking into programming classes makes students aware of algorithm biases, an experience has been carried out in the computer science degree at the Fierreal campus of the University of Castilla-La Mancha to make students aware of the gender biases of algorithms and the consequences they can have. Next, I will describe the experience designed, which participants, the intervention carried out, the tasks posed, and the results obtained. The participants were recruited among the students enrolled in the algorithm subject of the computer science degree at the Ciudad Real campus of University of Castilla-La Mancha. 36 boys and 9 girls participated voluntarily, although the, the percentage of participants in relation to enrollments of each sex is much higher for girls than for boys. All of them were rewarded with some points for the final grade. The intervention took place during the week of the celebration of the International Women's Day of the 21-22 academic year. First, a video on gender bias in algorithms, which had appeared a few days before on a major news program, was shown. Then, they read another informative article on the subject, which appeared in a Spanish online newspaper. Next, students complete a collaborative document by including one or more links to web pages describing a gender discriminatory algorithm. Finally, the participants were asked to fill a questionnaire about some demographical data, their opinion about the activity performed, and about the need of addressing the gender gap in computer science studies. As a result, a collaborative document with 53 references was created, which they after were classified in several categories image recognition, economics, work, music, language, sports, social networks, virtual assistants, web browsers, health, and a generic category. The final document has been incorporated to the subject material. Regarding the activity, it can be known that girls rate the activity more positively than boys. Also, girls feel that they have learned more about gender bias and that they would like to go much deeper into the topic than the boys. The previous results are consistent with the fact that most girls, 83, consider that the gender gap should be addressed in computer science studies compared to less than half of a boys, 46%. The main reason argued by the boys is that the choice of studies is made independently of gender and that universities should only be concerned with training good engineers. To conclude, the activity has served to make students aware of the gender biases of algorithms, although to a greater extent for girls than for boys. The, uh, the experience has evidence to the need to make students aware of the gender biases of algorithms. Thank you for your attention. 
I will be pleased to receive your comments, suggestions or questions through my email.